idyllic is this? There's a beautiful spot in the mid-north coast of New South Wales called Hannam Vale and the perfect place if you want to move to the country. But with only a couple of hundred people living here, you might not imagine there's too many properties available on the market, which means you might have to think outside the square to get what you want, which is exactly what one very smart couple have done. Hello, Jilly. Hello, Kevin. Hello, Hello Jilly. Welcome, welcome to our little church. Oh, it is absolutely exquisite. How is it that you two came about renovating a church? Well, we spotted it in a little shop nearby, yeah. just on the notice board, and had ridden through here once, and this valley was awesome. Yeah. And it didn't take much, did it, Jilly? No. We, we just thought, yeah, that's cool. And not too far away from Port Macquarie, where you've got your business. Exactly. We have a, a coffee wholesale business in Port Macquarie, and so we distribute all around New, New South Wales, Australia, even Lord Howe Island. Wow. So, yeah, it takes us 40 minutes to get there, and we run a couple of cafes, and it keeps us busy. So do you know much about the history of the church? Yeah, so the, the foundation stone at the bottom over there is um, officially written and scripted 1913, but the church wasn't officially open until 1915. Well, I can't wait to see what you've done inside. Come on, Come on in. Great. Yeah. After you. Oh, this is beautiful. Gosh, you've got impeccable taste everywhere you look. It's absolutely finished to perfection. So tell me, when, what was it like when you walked in here the first time? Um, nothing like this. <laughs> <laughs> there was blue, there was pink upstairs. The, the bathroom door was bottle green. Mm, every trim. little trim was depicted in different colours. Yeah. It was very much every colour of the rainbow. You must have been over the moon when you sanded back these floorboards. I mean, they are actually in fantastic condition. When I first walked in here with the real estate agent, the thing that sold it to me was these wooden floors because yeah. I knew they would come up beautifully. Yeah. And of course, the shape of the windows. I mean, where do you get in a normal house a gorgeous window shape like, like that? <laughs> so we're up on the altar now. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> yes, yeah. Part of part of the constraints, I guess, in, in making a church your home is, yes, you have to work with what you've got. So the kitchen being the heartbeat of the house became on the altar. The idea to go for a dark kitchen, that was pretty risky as well. The floorboards were the, you know, the talking point as yeah. well. So it's something that just jumps off the floorboards rather than, you know, a wooden kitchen or, a, yeah. or a, you know, another colour. What, what about heating or cooling a big space like this? Well, Jilly was onto that fireplace, but we needed the surface area, see all the cast iron ribs? Yep. To give that Let's surface that. area, because this is a big area. Yeah. And then the, the fan in reverse pushes that hot air down. Mm. So it's pretty, it's pretty good, aren't it? Yeah, we've finally got the heating and the cooling down pat now, <laughs> after a few years. Yeah. <laughs> Jillian and Kevin have an exceptional eye for detail and design, so it's no surprise to discover an exquisite bathroom and downstairs bedroom. And then it's up to the preacher pulpit. Hang on, I can tell that you two are so used to this because I'm just looking at this and just feeling like going, and another thing. Oh. <laughs> How many times has that happened at dinner parties? Uh, this one doesn't mind giving the odd uh, hey. sermon. Don't let that devil ride in the back seat. Because sooner or later, he's going to want to drive. <laughs> oh, wow. So we told all our dinner guests that one one yeah. night. <laughs> so, no, it works well. So what, did you put all this in, this little mezzanine level, or was it already the here? The mezzanine was already yeah. here. That was put in by the previous owners. OK. Because there wasn't much light up here, there was the three little slit windows yeah. in, instead. So now having the doors just creates that light and openness to outside as well as our little Romeo and Juliet back in it. <laughs> that kind of feels a little bit playful anyhow, doesn't it? Yeah. Yep, this is the place we spend the most time in, I guess. This yeah. is our special spot. We get morning sun 
morning sun. Yeah, and then the all sun mornings goes except this morning. So it's an all it, all weather all day. Yeah. Thing. If you're going to have a church, I, I suppose it makes a brilliant wedding venue, which is exactly what happened for you guys. Talk to me through your, your very special day. Yeah, that was back in May 2016. Yeah. And yeah, we just decided to have a little garden wedding. We got this Why ready. Got in April. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 it was close to the end of May, <laughs> the end of April. Was yeah. <laughs> we, we got married under the tree, the cows were in the background, our friends and family were gathered on the grass that was a little greeter at the time, and yeah, it was just a beautiful scene. Yeah, Jilly made steaks with all flower things to make a walk, beautiful and we had white seats. And what a special, special memory. For, for, you've obviously poured blood, sweat and tears into this little church. Sounds like you have both learnt a lot through this renovation. What would be the biggest thing? Um, not to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, rubbish, it would. Yeah. I, I think, yeah, don't rush into the big structural stuff until you've lived in it a while and you know what, yeah. what's needed. Am I allowed to ask how much it, it's cost in total? Yeah, is we... it three point? <laughs> no. no, we bought it. We bought it for two hundred and seventy-four thousand. Yeah. The church and the and the land, and we think, at a rough guess, we're around five hundred thousand now. Wow, that is amazing. I would have thought yeah. it was uh, so much more than that. Now, obviously, when we were in the kitchen, the one thing I thought was missing was a, a coffee machine. But I, <laughs> I know why now because you have a rather pretty awesome setup out here with this coffee bar. Yeah, that's yeah too messy for inside, but this is cool. Works a treat yeah. out here. Oh, does it work a treat? Because I, I keep hearing you about how you two are baristas. Yeah. Well, maybe we can make you one. <laughs> <Come> on. <laughs> Thank you. Holy goat. Let's do it. <laughs>